Right, so this is the stage I'm at at the moment. It's coming along nicely. And uh, let me just go through a few bits that I've done so far. So we started by putting the forks on the frame um, with the new bearings. Um, and then we ended up putting the back suspension on and the back wheel fitted the engine. And then from that point, you know, with the wheel and the front wheel on, it was sort of like a rolling chassis. So we, it was easier to put the other parts on. And from that point, I've just been assembling bit by bit, figuring out where all the cables go, where all the linkages go. Um, this exhaust was a bit tricky because I had to figure out where to attach that onto the bike. And I have actually fitted it to the swing arm, which is probably not the greatest idea, but without making a bracket to suit to fit against this bolt here it's it's gonna have to stay there for time for the time being but this bracket here does slide up and down over the exhaust so there is a bit of free play so once there is a bit of, once the suspension is bouncing up and down there the exhaust should be able to slide in and out connected up all the brakes so the little springs here for the foot brake the throttle cable has been sorted Clutch cable has been sorted. Um, that's the front brake. That's sorted. Um, what else have I done? So this is the clutch. So that just that's sorted as well there. Um, indicators are on. So we've been figuring out where to put these indicators. And I've just attached them to where the fairings used to be bolted to. And they look quite cool there. Um, the headlight is probably going to be mounted here, right at the top. And I'll show you the headlight, this one here. That's most likely going to fit on the top here. Got to figure out how to get that on. I've got another one of these clamps coming with an M10 thread on. So this is an M10 thread, so that is going to fix onto the clamp been figuring out this speedo as well I mean it doesn't look great here and plus I don't know what to do with the cable just floating around there so I think that's going to get moved and put back onto the same um, handlebar clamp as the headlight so they're going to sh share the same hole um, indicators on the back I put them into these existing holes got the number plate mount and the brake light on on the rubber little rubber washer so it doesn't damage the paintwork um, anything else that I've got up to just figuring out where all the connections are going really and that's taking the time sprayed up this cage here this is the cage for the battery so this little gel battery which I bought that sits in this cage and then all of these which are relays and a little rectifier they'll sit on these little tabs here along with the battery and then these panels go over so they sit over like that that'll cover all the electrics um what else is there yeah so basically we need to start the engine up um once i get the key i forgot to bring the key in um for the wiring loom i've been trying to figure out this wiring loom today but obviously, um, because it's not connected, because it's not turned on, there's no way any of these signals are getting through. So um, I'll have to bring the key in and give that a go. Uh, rear foot pegs on. I've got this seat to work. This was the seat that just came with the bike. I've had to increase the height of the hinge bracket there so it opens and closes and sits nicely. Um, this fuel sender gauge, I've actually just snipped it because I don't need that. I'm, it's only a five litre tank. I'm not going many places on this bike, but my Speedo doesn't have a fuel gauge on it, so I'm not worrying about that. And taking shape now. So things to do are connections, all the connections of the wiring loom. I figured out a few bits. There's still a few more to go. Indicators, headlights, switches, they all need to be figured out. And fill it up with oil, make sure the connections are right. So the throttle cable, adjust that. Um, 
And that is it really. And then once it's running, we'll sort of see how it runs and tune it, hopefully. Tidy up all the cables once we know where all the connections go. I think this wiring loom is gonna have to just, um, I've got some nice material wrap for that so, so it doesn't look horrible plastic and that is just gonna run underneath the frame. It, unfortunately, there is no hole inside the frame that goes all the way through to pass the loom. So, yep. What do you think? All right, so that's it for this one. And I'll keep you posted with the um, upgrades next. See you later, guys. Bye-bye-bye.